In 2009, Care for Education and the LEGO Foundation initiated a project targeting students in grade R to 7 across all primary schools in the South African township of Ottridgeville. Based on the belief that children learn best when they are actively involved in the learning process and construct something they find personally meaningful, the project grew to include an introduction to robotics. We started with the robotics in Attridgeville because we wanted to bring a play agenda into the schools. We had seen how children had improved in maths and science, but we wanted to find something that was a bit more exciting and allowed them to play and experiment and to try new ideas. And we thought the robotics would be a perfect program for that. Each week, 200 children attend an after-school robotics class in the township to learn about coding while developing a breadth of skills such as collaboration and creativity. Once a year, the best teams meet to compete at the Township Robotics event in Artridgeville. So the competition layout is, is, a, is a problem that they have to solve, which is a table, and they have a number of ways of scoring on the table. The whole idea is to try and build and become innovative and creative and to end with the most number of points on the table as you can. At first I must say that I was a little bit spectacle about it, but I realized that uh, she actually loves it very much. Uh, when she spoke about it, there was this excitement in her eyes and all that. 18-year-old Karabo Ruturi is one of the judges at this year's Township Robotics. In 2012, at age 12, she herself was a participant as part of the Crazy Divas team. This all-girl team showed so much talent and passion that they managed to finish second in the national leg of the World Robot Olympiad competition just five months after their first robotics experience, allowing them to represent their country in the Global World Robot Olympiad event in Malaysia. The robotics competition has definitely influenced my life. I've learned that not everything is going to go according to plan, but you still have to have patience in order to figure out what you're doing wrong. Go and fix it and then come try again. In terms of academics, I went from getting 40s and 50s to getting 70s and 80s in subjects like mathematics, which I didn't like, but for the fact that I did this, I found them very interesting and that persuaded me to work harder than I usually do. I'm a very quiet person, so it has like forced me to break out of that shell and be able to communicate with others. I'm back here because I love, besides the fact that I love this, I want, I want everybody to get an experience of what I got. So they're still experimenting with all the maths experiments, science experiments that they would have done in a normal school classroom, but this time they're doing it by touching and feeling. And so the content is much more powerful. They remember it for longer. And so robotics inspires children. It, it's a way to free themselves from the shackles that they feel in the township. The winner of the 2018 Township Robotics Festival will now proceed to the National World Robot Olympiad competition. And who knows whether they too will make it to the global finals.